Hello Rocketeers! It's been a little while since Mission to Argus ended, and now it's time for a miniset. I'm proud to present the Echoes of Eredath miniset. Echoes of Eredath will introduce 38 new custom cards, and like the miniset for my last expansion, Echoes of Eredath will have 22 dual class cards, but not with the same dual class combinations as last time. I'll be showcasing all the cards over the course of two videos. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Eredath is a mysterious place, so I found myself a guide who knows the place better than anyone else. The Prophet Villain. Champion, we meet at last. Good to Let meet you. Let me know okay. when you are ready to depart. Okay, I guess we're getting right into it. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. Stay close to me, Champion. Wait. Something stirs. What is it, villain? Spirits. You're right, that's the Eredath Reveler. This 2 mana 1-4 undead for Hunter has rush and will gain plus 2 attack for each friendly beast that died this turn. While Hunter's cards in Mission to Argus were mostly spell focused, this card might hint at something to come in the future. Wink wink. Hunter is paired with Rogue for this miniset and both of their cards are secret oriented. The first is another spirit, it's Gossip Ghost. This 3 mana 3-3 three, three undead will draw a card for each secret you control. Hunter and Rogue also get the first ever dual class secret, Entrenchment. This secret costs 2 mana like all Hunter and Rogue secrets and will trigger when your opponent uses their hero power and will then give all your characters Retaliate 2 for the duration of that turn. If you forgot, Retaliate is the new keyword from Mission to Argus, and characters with the keyword will return bonus damage whenever they take damage from any source except from other Retaliate damage. Entrenchment will trigger alongside the use of the enemy hero power, so any hero power that deals damage directly to your characters will still receive Retaliate damage, such as the Mage or Hunter hero powers. Since Entrenchment is a Hunter's secret, it can also be improved, and your characters will then gain Retaliate 4. In addition to the secret package, Rogue also got a new Sap archetype in Mission to Argus, and this deck is further supported by a card like Space Marauder. This 4 mana 4 3 pirate has a combo effect that will return a minion to its owner's hand, but if the minion is friendly, you will also get a coin. Rogue is also paired with Priest for Echoes of Eredath, and the two cards they get might start into the Sap deck for Rogue or the new Thief deck Priest got in Mission to Argus. The cards for Rogue and Priest are Black Hole and Shadowy Harbinger. Black Hole is a 6 mana shadow spell that will put all minions on top of your deck. And Shadowy Harbinger is a 5 mana 4 4 minion with a death rattle that will summon a minion from your hand that didn't start there. Priest gets the new minion, Taylor Echo. This 3 mana 4 3 undead is one of the so called Echoes of Eredath that gives the miniset its name. Five classes get a minion like this and they all have a death rattle that will spend all your mana for a bonus. Taylor Echo's death rattle will spend all your mana and then deal that much damage to all enemy minions. Priest is also paired with Mage for this miniset and they get this brand new legendary. You recognize this card villain? Mephistroth! No villain, that's... Th that's you! Perhaps. Anyway, Velen Proactive Prophet is a 3 mana 3 4 minion for Priest and Mage with a battle cry that will allow you to secretly look at 3 cards in your opponent's hand and then choose one. Then, if they play that card next turn, Velen will counter it. Similarly to Blademaster Okani, this effect will be cancelled if Velen dies before it triggers. Priest and Mage also get the 0 mana frost spell Suffocating Eyes. This spell will silence and then freeze a minion. Talk about power creeping, am I right? Mage gets another Echo of Eredath. The Scribe Echo. This 1 mana 2 1 undead has a death rattle that will spend all your mana and then reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by 2 for each mana spent. Mage and Paladin also share 2 cards. And since both of these classes got a mech archetype in Mission to Argus, both of the cards are mech related. They are Ancient Technology and Eternal Vigilant. Ancient Technology is a 2 mana holy spell that will add a random mech and spell from the past to your hand. And Eternal Vigilant is a 4 mana 1-4 mech with a new spin on Retaliate. 
retaliate two to all enemies. This means that whenever Eternal Vigilant takes damage, it will deal two damage to all enemies, but this will be considered retaliate damage. Paladin also gets an Echo of Iridath. Jewel Echo. This 2 mana 3 2 undead has a death rattle that will spend all your mana and give a minion in your hand plus 2 plus 2 for each mana spend. We must let these spirits finally realize their escape. Sure. Paladin also shares two cards with Druid. They are Anglobot and Alien Flora. Anglobot is a 2 mana 2 1 mech beast with magnetic and divine shield and can be magnetized to both mechs and beasts. Alien Flora is a 1 mana choose 1 nature spell that allows you to either give a minion plus 3 attack or summon a 2 2 Silverhand Treant. The Silverhand Treant is both a Silverhand recruit and a Treant. Druid gets the brand new legendary minion Echo of Restalan. My life for Argus. This is a 4 mana 3 3 undead that allows you to add 2 spells that cost 3 or less to a special pool while building your deck, similarly to ATC. Then when you play the Echo of Restalan, you may choose one of the 2 spells to cast. I sense a foul presence. Yeah, that's probably the cards for Druid and Warlock you're sensing. Druid and Warlock get two cards with a similar theme. They are Manari Feltender and Shadow Bloom. Manari Feltender is a 3 mana 4 2 demon that allows you to destroy an enemy minion, but at the cost of one of your mana crystals. Shadow Bloom is a 0 mana shadow spell that will give you 2 mana crystals this turn only, but at the start of your next turn, it'll destroy one of your mana crystals. Warlock gets Enchanter Echo. This 4 mana 5 4 undead is another Echo of Eridath that has a death rattle that will spend all your mana and then draw that many cards. Alright, this is becoming a pretty long video, so I think we'll end it here. No! We must press on! Sorry, villain, that's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next episode. I'll see you then. This has been the mini set for Mission to Arcus Echoes of Eridath. Also, check out the cinematic trailer if you haven't. It starts a bit slow, but picks up the pace towards the end. I think you'll really enjoy it. You can find it on the screen right now. See ya! Let us see what lies behind the veil. Not this day, demon! I am the Defiler!